Alright guys, um, did a little research and they said if you use some warm soapy water and let your uh, sandpaper soak in there for a minute and then you go over here and you sand one way like you know get a spot half like a quarter of it and sand it and dry it off sand it and dry it off and uh, that orange pill should uh, come out so let's uh, try it out and we'll see alright so as you can tell see how that part right here is smooth and you start getting into the orange pill same way with part there see this is going to be because I see how there's all these edges you got to stay away from these edges because as soon as you hit those edges you go right through and you don't want to do that so I'm no expert here but um, I'm trying the best I can I'm just trying to pass on a little knowledge that I've learned so yeah it needs more I think I'm going to hit this part right here and go from there alright I'm gonna I'm gonna do a little start of that tractor. I just can't I can't take it no more. But uh, I'm gonna start buffing this out. I got it sanded down pretty good. There's still a few spots. I'm gonna start to buff it out and see how that turns out. But till then we're going to uh, we're gonna start this thing. as I can get it. Hey fellas, uh, I'm going to do a little update here. I got uh, the nose cone primed, got the gas tank primed, and all they use for them uh, fuel tanks are um, windshield water, or uh, overflow tanks. You can go to APA or Rally whatever and buy them and that's what they use. So uh, that's what I'm doing here. Took a uh, I took with the gas, the fuel tank was sat right there, and then the fuel pump sat there. I'm gonna move it down to here. I'm gonna hang it off. And uh, move the coil and the condenser. Probably put it uh, probably back up in here somewhere, maybe. Get it off of the shroud, because I'm going to get some 3 inch thick um, aluminum. And I'll make a shield that goes around that. Around this, and get rid of this. Because technically, this is not thick enough because if you know you're spinning this at you know seven seventy five hundred rpms or say even six thousand rpms you know you could fly apart you never know and don't want to take no chances because you know it's, it's pretty damn fast and when something flies apart they're gonna go everywhere there's a I don't know if it's a video or there's a uh, just pictures like a slideshow on YouTube but I think it's or maybe it's on one of the tractor forms I can't remember but I saw pictures of what it can do and it it tore some stuff up. So um, here's the clutch setup. It's just uh, basic. It has Kevlar clutch discs in it. Nothing major. And back in here, they, of course, they removed all the fins, and it's just a steel uh, flywheel. So I just wanted to make a quick update what I'm doing. Um, as you guys keep going through this video, uh, you'll see just different clips of painting. And this and that. I mean, my whole, you know, like, like my desk is 
completely trashed. I got all kinds of stuff all over it. It's just been hectic. So, you know, I'm trying to get things done. My mind goes a thousand miles an hour and, you know, I just got to, you know, get it done. Because I got this one to do, finish up. This is that one with the red. It's going to be red and black. And then I got to work on that one. That's the one you guys saw all mocked up and everything. So, um, I did get the hood painted, but see, there goes my mind again, wandering off. But anyways, uh, just a little update. I'll have more later.